So for question one, a nice little three-dimensional drawing of a square-based pyramid. Pyramid comes to a point at the top. It could have said it was a square-based right pyramid in that the perpendicular from D to the base hits the square in the centre rather than it being off-centre and oblique. And from that, if it's too long and too back to get underneath D, then that must mean that it's four along, which it tells you anyway, O A is four. So I could put its coordinates down. To get from the origin to A, you'd go four along, then none back and none up. And the question says, what's the coordinates of B? Well, following the same pattern, if it's a square, all the sides are four, it must be four along, four back and none up. So B is the point four, four, zero. It also says M is the midpoint of OA. So I know that M is going to be two, zero, zero. I'll put that in the next bit when it comes to ask for it. So there's the first part. B. Express DB. The move that takes you from D to B in component form. Well, to get that, we'd do B minus D. B, we've just got, is four, four, zero. D, you know, is two, two, six. Take this the road. So that's going to leave me with 4 take away 2 is 2, 4 take away 2 is 2, nothing take away 6 is negative 6. So the first part then, DB is 2, 6. The second part said, what's DM? Well, for this I'll need to know what M is. So I'll put a wee note here at the side. If M's the midpoint, that means it's halfway to A, so it's only 2 along, but still no, nothing back and nothing up. So that'd be M minus D. So that's going to be 2, 0, 0, minus D again, which is 2, 2, 6. So that's going to give me 0, negative 2, negative 6. So for part C, what's the size of angle BDM? Now if you're looking for angle BDM, from B to D to M, the angle in between the two of those, you need the vectors that radiate away from the common point, D to M and D to B. You need the vector DB and you need the vector DM, which is just what you found in the first part. And then the way that you get them is by using the scalar product, the two forms of the scalar product. The scalar product being, the scalar product of A and B is the length of A times the length of B times the cosine of the angle in between. Or, the other way would be multiplying the corresponding components, the x component of A times the x component of B, plus the same for the y and the z. And if you know the components, that means you can do the component part, and if you know the components, you can work out the length, it only leaves the angle to fight. So in this case then, you've got the scalar product, db dot dm, is equal to the length of db, times the length of dm, times the cosine of the angle in between, which is the angle it's asking for, b, d, m. Just put the angle sign above at the top. Then since I know those parts, I can isolate that. So the cosine of b, d, m will be db dot dm over the length of db times the length of dm. Now you can work those three parts out separate if you liked, or you can just put them all down at once, which is what I think I'll do. db dot dm, those two. So it would be the x components, 2 times 0. The y components, 2 times negative 2. The z components, negative 6 times negative 6. All divided by the length, so that'll be the square root of the three components squared. 2 squared plus 2 squared plus negative 6 squared times the square root of 0 squared plus negative 2 squared plus negative 6 squared. So the top part is simply going to be nothing. Take away 4 plus 36. That's going to be the square root of 4 plus 4 plus 36. And the square root of 0 plus 4 plus 36. So it means the cosine is going to come to altogether 32 upon root 44 root 40. Then the last part would be get rid of the cos, and there's your answer. I'll just put that over here then. Which means that angle BDM is going to be the inverse cos of this thing. 
32 over, and there's no point in simplifying those subs, you can just leave them the way they are and just put it into your calculator. But one thing you can do is just put one big square root and have the 44 times the 40 inside it. And that whole thing can just get typed into your calculator. Which gives you 40.290 dot dot dot, so you could say angle BDM is 40.3 degrees. And that would be it.